Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Artifacts YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this simple Valentine's Day title animation in Adobe After Effects. You will need the plugin trap code form for this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump right in and get started. So I have Adobe After Effects open. We're going to start by creating a new composition and I'm just going to rename this Valentine's Day. I'm going to make it a standard 1920 by 1080 HD TV, 24 frame rates per second, and I'm going to change the duration to 7 seconds since this is just going to be a title animation, and then just click OK. The first thing we need to do is create a background layer, so we are going to go to Layer, New, Solid, and just rename this BG with the same settings. Next, we are going to add an effect to this, so go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. So we're going to be changing the background colors on this. Um, you can choose whatever colors you want. I am going to pick a purple color. And then for the bottom portion, I'm going to choose a dark blue color, almost kind of black. The next thing we need to do is add our heart layer. So we're going to be using uh, trap code form for this. So we just need to go to layer new solid. And I'm just going to name this particle with the same settings. Click OK. And then go to effect trap code form. And then as you can see over on the left hand side, there's several settings to choose from. We're going to start under base form and we are going to choose OBJ model and then click on choose OBJ. And we're just going to scroll down to the heart OBJ. Next, we need to change some of the particle settings. So under OBJ settings, we're going to come over under here under particle density, and we're going to bring that down to 25. And then under particle, we are going to change the opacity to 75 and then bring down the particle size to one. The next thing we're going to do is change the color. So under set color, I'm going to choose over X and then there's a few presets to choose from. I'm just going to choose this preset that has some different colors, purples and reds in there. The next thing we're going to do is animate the heart. So under fractal field, we're going to click the stopwatch. Make sure your time ruler is at the front and then drag the time ruler all the way to the end of the time graph area. And then we are going to bring up the effect size to 10. And this just creates a cool animation to the heart OBJ. Just on a side note, I have Trap Code Suite 14.1. So if you have uh, Trap Code Suite 14.1 or higher, you should have access to the heart OBJ. Um, or you can find some cool OBJ files for free on TurboSquid. So we're going to add one more simple animation to the heart. So with the time ruler set at about 5 seconds, we're going to come under here under Disperse and Twist and select the stopwatch under Disperse. And then we're going to move our time ruler all the way to the end to 7 seconds. And now we are going to change Disperse to 3000. So towards the end of the time frame, the heart's going to burst into particles. And next, we're ready to add our text layer. So we're just going to go ahead and create a new text layer and type in Happy Valentine's Day. You can create a new text layer just by clicking the text icon and cl clicking into the composition or you can go to layer new text layer. So now I'm going to go to my select tool so I can resize this, bring it down a little bit and reposition it. And I'm going to change the color just to a little bit of a purple with mostly white in there. And now I'm just resizing it some more with the select tool. So now I'm just tweaking the position of the text layer and I'm going to also move the position of the heart particle. So I'm going to select the particle layer and then under base form, under position, I'm just going to lower the heart position. So we're just changing the Y value so the heart's in the lower portion of the composition. So now we're ready to add a text animation. So with the text layer selected, we're going to come over here to effects and presets. 
and under animation presets under text we're going to go to animate in and we are going to be choosing the slow fade on as you can see there's a lot of selections to choose from but we are just going to pick the slow fade on so i'm just going to drag the slow fade on into the text layer Make sure your time ruler is at the beginning of the time frame. And as you can see, when I drag the time ruler, the animation is applied to the text. And that completes the title animation. So now we just need to render our footage. Um, you can do this a couple ways. You can do that in Adobe Media Encoder, or if you want, you can actually go to Render Queue. So we're just going to go under Render Queue and then go under our project file and as you can see our composition Valentine's Day is there and you simply just drag that into the render queue and then under output 2 just make sure you have it saved where you want it to be saved on your desktop or documents and then output module just make sure you have it um, the format that you want so I'm just gonna select QuickTime and then just go ahead and select render and that's it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and visit digitalartifacts.com for more artwork and home decor ideas.